Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to this screencast looking at our Google Analytics component. Now, before we start, what we need to do is create an Analytics account. So what I'm going to do is open up Google and just search for it. So and Analytics, there it is, um, and open it up. Right. OK, so when we're here, um, obviously, you've got to create a, a Google account. I'm already logged in uh, to create an Analytics account, then go to admin create an account give it account name so let's just do um, to tracking all right um, there's various things you can turn on and off um, what do we want to measure or track you can track um, web pages apps or both apps and web pages I'm just going to stick with web pages and click next give the uh, website a name so that's support Noom, here we go, and the URL is support.ggno.me. It's uh, category computers and electronics. I'm in the United Kingdom, so let's create. Now I have to accept a few terms and conditions as always and click accept. When you do that, you should get your tracking ID. Here it is. So I'm just going to copy this. All right, because I will need it for later. So let's just paste that in a document just in case I forget. And I'm going to click the home button for analytics. So this is going to show me um, my analytics account. At the moment, there's nothing in there because it's a brand new one. All right, so I'm just going to minimize this. Now we've downloaded our component. It's on my desktop. When I double click, Pano 2 VR should open and ask me which category to save the component in. We have our user defined or we can create a new one. Um, if you've got other categories, they will be listed here as well. I am going to select user defined, click OK and save the component there. All right. So that's that. OK, now I have a, a project here. It's a two note tour. Its claim to fame is it has a VR button and uh, each node has a Google Street View counterpart. So you can view it on Street View. So let's open up the project. Uh, you can see that it's got an active skin configuration button. If I click this, you'll see that I can hide or, or enable or disable the hotspot preview. So let's see uh, what that looks like. So if I rotate this around, you can see there's the hotspot preview. I can turn that on and off. So that's what that skin configuration was doing. Here is the button to see this particular node on Street View. OK, so this is what I uh, this is the project I want to um, track and get you know uh, statistics for so let's open up skin editor open up the components toolbox here is the Google Analytics component double click to add it to the skin what you actually do is add a text box to the skin this is it and there's lots of JavaScript magic in the text and it also has an action all right so what I'm going to do is just close and save to show you what this does out of the box so if I now click here you'll see it's got Google Analytics ID and its event categories virtual tour. If I create the output, it will say, please set your Google tracking ID. All right, so that's what we need to do. And you do that using the skin configuration button. Um, if I right button click and click paste, there is my tracking ID. The name of this, um, uh, let's just copy this. This is the name of the virtual tour. So I'm going to call this VE Day Memorials because that's what this tour is looking at. OK, so that's what you want to put in this event categories is the name of your tour. All right. Or panorama. So click OK. Let's now create the output. And what we should be getting there is some real time data going over to Google. All right. So you can see if I've got one active user, which is OK, it's on my desktop and I've got one event. If I go to real time and let's go to events, you can see that there we go. The event category, which is the VE Day Memorial. So that's the name of my tour. And the event was node change. Now I've just opened it. I haven't actually changed the node yet. So what's going on with that? So if I minimize the browser and just close this and go back to the skin, I'll explain. So let's go back to the text box. The text box has this um action no change now we we trigger a no change 
when a panorama first opens or when we change a node, right? So in this case, what's happening on node change or when we opened it, we sent a go to URL and we went to this URL, which is actually a JavaScript snippet. So let's just open up the text area or the value box so I can see what's going on. So you can see here that we're doing a JavaScript call to no change, so that's why. And it's also picking up the user data title, all right? So um, if you don't wanna see the user data title, you can just delete this line, but I think it's important because when I track events, I wanna see what node people are in. If I delete this line, I won't, I'll just see an event that's been clicked. So if you're just uh, uh, you know clicking um, skin buttons like I don't know uh, zoom in zoom out, then you don't necessarily need to know which node you're in for that. But in this case, because I'm tracking VR and um, or enter VR and nodes being opened in Google, I want to track which nodes people want to see. So I'm going to keep that like that. All right. So that's what's happening there. All right. Now. For me to track buttons, we need to add an action. And that action, again, is going to need this code. So I'm gonna select this code and copy it. All right, click OK. Cancel this down. I'm gonna select my button that I want to track. And I'm gonna give it the action of, when it's mouse clicked, go to URL, and I'm gonna paste in that code, all right, that JavaScript snippet. Now this time around what I need to do is obviously change the name of it because it's no longer to do with no change, it's to do with opening it up on Street View. So I'm just gonna change this so it says Street View button clicked, all right? And I'm interested in which node it was pressed, so I'll leave that there. If I wasn't, as I said before, we can just delete it. Click OK, all right. What I'm going to do now is copy this. So I'm going to copy this action, select the VR button, right button click and paste. But what I need to do is just modify the text because it's no longer a street view button. Um, it's now enter VR. So that's what I need to put in here. Enter VR button clicked. Okay, cool save and let's create the output here is the tour let's minimize pano 2 vr i don't need to see that now let's go back to analytics um right okay so we've got um let's have a look v day memorials uh let's change nodes all right and let's see what happens we should here we go we get this track in here if I click on V-Day Memorials, it actually gives me a little bit more information. And we can see now that I've had two no changes, one to Aberton and one to Laird de La Haye. I'm at Laird de La Haye at the moment, okay. If I click the See It on Street View button, so I've now done that, I've clicked the button, I'm now viewing this on Street View. What we should see coming in is another action. Here it is, or another event. So the street view button was clicked whilst I was in layer de la Hay, and that's happened once. Cool. If I close that, go back to our tour, and go back to the Abiton Memorial, all right, what we should see is this happening. Now, what we need to do, see this is active users, so there's just one person. If I now click events, you'll see all the events that have happened. I opened up the tour twice, okay, so I've got, uh, and I went to the no change to layer de la Hay once and then went back to Abiton. That's where I am now. So I've got three vis uh, uh, no change events for for Abiton and I've got one no change event for layer de la Hay and I've got one street view button uh, clicked whilst I was in layer de la Hay. All right, so that's quite cool. What I'm going to do now is just minimize this and because I can, just grab my mobile phone. All right, let's open this up. Bring it over on screen so we can see it. So there's my phone. And I'm gonna, using the built-in web server, because that's what we're looking at now, I'm going to open the panorama. And when I do that, what we should get, he says, is, 
um, Sun Activity, here we go, to say that it's now been opened on a mobile phone. There we go, right. Let's spin that around and let's go to the Layer de la Hay node. And what we should see now is no change Layer de la Hay. Um, so that should uh, count up, which it has, right? Okay, cool. And now what I'm going to do is that if we just move that, the so the dark areas on the buttons, you can see I've got my see it on Google and my VR button. So if I click the VR button, spin the phone around, I can now see, or hopefully we'll see very soon, the event coming in that the VR button was clicked. And there we go. You can now see that is that the VR button uh, clicked whilst I was in the Layer de la Haye Memorial node. Okay, that's basically the um, analytics uh, tracking component. That's how it works. That's how to set it up. I've been Martin, and as always, thanks for watching.